right, ladies, here is another look for you. Today I am doing the Stormtrooper from the Star Wars. And I got four looks that I'm going to be doing for you, so I'm not going to spoil it. But actually, I think I do spoil it in this video. I show you each and every one of them. But today I'm going to be doing Stormtrooper. And it is a beautiful abstract look, so... And it's not really that hard. It's basically just outlining and then filling in, so... But if you would like to see how I got this crazy Stormtrooper look, then please keep watching. Alright, ladies. Um, today I'm doing this very traumatic, crazy eyes that I was going to bring out my more inner part of me. And I love dramatic eyes. Like, I love doing and challenging myself to different things. So today, I got in the mail... Just the magazine. And in the magazine, there were looks. Um, the look I'm doing today is Stormtrooper. And these are from Star Wars. So I thought they'd be really cool. I'm going to do every single one of these looks. And I'm going to insert a clip right now of the look that I'm doing right now. So that is the clip of what I'm doing right now. The other one is the Resistance Pilot, and that is this one here. Now, her eyes are basically, it's a halo with gold and blue. I will be doing that one. Then I'm going to be doing Jedi. So it's just a really beautiful bronze with white. Very simple look there. And then I'm going to be doing the Dark Apprentice. And that is the Dark Apprentice. So that is her look there. So I am super excited to show you this look of Stormtrooper. So again, you can see my eye and her eye together. It was difficult. I'm not going to lie. It's time consuming. So I had went ahead and did one eye. I just did my regular foundation, but she does have a very dark, strong contour going on. It took me a while. I definitely had to use the photo as a reference to how actually to do it and if you look at the picture her eyebrows are blacked out as part of the eye look so you can see if you can see how her eyebrows are blacked out so that is what I did so that is what I came up with pretty much a very similar to her eye now it's not going to be perfect because my eye shape is different than hers I used just some regular double up lashes and I will show you how I'm going to do my lips. Her lips are ombre, black, and red. Very simple but very glossy. So I'm going to bring you in and I'm going to show you how I did this. What you will need is a black eyeliner pencil. You will need a white eyeliner pencil. You will need some black gel liner of your choice. This is my mica. You will need a black eyeshadow. I am using the NYX quad that I got in the Ipsy for the black shadow. And you will need some white shadow. And that is it. I swear to you. I promise you. That's it. Who doesn't have black and white in their collection? So I chose to do this one first in case you wanted to try it. Like, takes a little bit of time, but I think it's really cool and I think it looks awesome. So I'm going to bring you in and we are going to get started. So let's do this. So, I brought you into my eye. Now, what I did and what I'm going to tell you to do is you need to have a sharpener and you need to have your pencil because I map it out if you are more comfortable going straight in with your liner, then by all means you can do that. But I kind of map out how I'm going to have it first and then I go in with my gel liner. And I'm using a very, very fine liner brush. And this is by... I don't even know who the hell this is by. Something Basics. I don't know. Anyhow, it's a very, very fine eyeliner brush. So what I do do first is I am going to get as close as I can to the same 
shape that I have going on on this eye. And do your best. Do your best. So, I'm going to start right about there. That little dot is pretty close to that one. So, and from there I'm going to make my cut crease. And it's okay if it's like choppy, don't worry about that. So as you look straight ahead, it should be fairly even. Now as you get out here to the outer part, you just want to start like winging it up and making it like is symmetrical as the other one it's going to be too difficult to get them absolutely even so just do your best and let it ride like if you seriously try to get them as perfect as possible you're gonna fucking just drive yourself nuts so i'm just basically letting you watch what i'm doing and just map out the exact same shape that you have on the other side take your time with this there is no rush Give yourself time, and I promise you, you can do it. It is not hard. It is easy. Just watch what I'm doing, and you can get it. I promise you, you can do this. It is not hard. Now, in the corner, it comes out very far there, and as well as there, and then there's white in between. Now, the white is a bitch. So, as far as the white goes... You basically want to do the white first, set it down, and then trim back out your black. I found that to work the best on this side. So that's what we're going to do on this side. So now I'm just going to fill in everything with the white, and I'm just going to let you watch it while you listen to a little bit of music. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this new crazy mother... Remember, ladies, take your time with the liner because that's what's going to define every single inch of this eye look is going to be that liner. So remember, do the white first, then go back in and define the black. And I promise you, 
that is the best trick that I found for this eye look. So, yeah, just take your time with it. And I promise you, if you practice, take it off, do it again, it'll look just like this. So, hope you liked it. Like so. Now, if you find that you have, like, some darkness, like, right in here, you can always take a little concealer brush, and that's what I'm going to do, and some concealer, and I'm just going to sharpen up these lines a little bit because I'm not happy with how it looks. But after you do it, you definitely want it to still look blown out. But it's kind of defined on the picture. It, it really is, like, there's not much blending. So again, we are just cleaning up anywhere where I see any flaws. These are the eyes, and this is with lashes, and this is without. So as you can see, the lashes just make it. I'm going to use this Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara that I got in my Ipsy bag. And the fucking brush on this is huge. It's just huge. But, I will say it is a decent mascara. And coming from me, you guys know how much I love my Ride or Die Colossal Volume. That's saying a lot. So, and even though you don't need it on the bottom, I'm going to put some mascara on the bottom lashes as well, for the fuck of it. So they're just the 204s, doubles, and we're going to add these bad boys on. So, go from up top. and get it as centered as you can. And then I work from the outside to the inside. And that is it, lashes are on. This is how the eyes are looking. <laughs> Fucking wild, right? Like, pretty damn cool though, I think. So now looking at her lips, they are definitely, they might even be a little purple, but I'm going to go with black and red. Black completely there and just red in the middle. And line your natural lip. You do not have to line, make it bigger or whatever. Do your natural lip. Now for the lips, just do the black liner pencil, ombre them in halfway, and then fill them in with red. So that's it, nothing to them, nothing special. The lines were very blunt and stopped lines. So that's it. They were very simple and easy, nothing out of the ordinary there. Just actually follow what I'm doing and that's it. So I am going to take another item that I got in my Ipsy bag this month. And it is this Trustique. I'm guessing it is just a pure red. Ain't that so cute? Like it has like this little teeny thing on it looks like a crayon like yeah ew. I thought I actually didn't have a cap but it is just a really true red and looking at her lips it's a true red so we are going to put this all here Like so. Okay, this is the glossiest just gloss that I think I could find. And it's Elf's Glossy Gloss. And we're going to make these bad boys shine. It's just a nude gloss. I don't have a clear one. It's 
She has no bronzer on. No highlight. She just has a hell of a contour. So, and you can see just a really striking contour. Her face is white, but I, I wasn't doing my face white. So, we are just going to contour the shit out of our face. Contour. On fleek. <laughs> contour. Holy fuck, that's a dark ass contour. You rocking that contour, girl. And that shit ain't even blended. It is a straight contour. Like, for real, like that. So, that now is the finished look. I hope you liked it. I hope you found this fucking video entertaining. I did something off the wall different. I'm going to be doing every single one of those looks. So, I hope you have fun with me through all of them. This one is Stormtrooper. So, let me bring you in. There are the eyes. Pretty cool, huh? There are the lips. And there is the hellish contour. And ladies, that is all that's to this look. That is it. So, hope you enjoyed it. So, I hope you enjoyed this look. That I had a lot of fun making it. It was a challenge for me, and I love challenging myself. So, yeah. This was Stormtrooper. I think I did alright. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. If you like videos like this, you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up, ladies. And if you want to see more videos that are dramatic and just out crazy, I got some ideas in my head that aren't pictures, and I would love to do that for you as well. So let me know that as well in the comments. And yeah, if you're new to my channel, I hope you like this crazy, like, abstract kind of look is what I think it is. Maybe you'll play around with it, have some fun with it, and yeah, I mean, like, you could actually go out to a club with this shit on. I mean, if you're bold enough to wear this shit, wear it. Like, the models wear it, so why the fuck can't we, right? Right. If you're not new to my channel, thank you for coming back and watching this crazy ass video. I love you so much. You know that. Guys are my ride or dies. You are so warm to my heart. You really, really are. And the ones who always leave me comments, and you guys know who you are, thank you so much because it brightens my day and it lets me know that you do like watching me and that you think this crazy, cool, fucking weird-ass shit is cool. So, it works. I love it. And, and I love you. So, with that being said, thanks for watching. And until next time, I will see you in my next video. Bye. What the fuck? Why every time this got happening to me? Where did it go? Where did you go? Where did you go, Cotton Eye Joe? Oh, there it is. Anyways, and that is the finished result. Yeah, right. You guys know I'm lying. How the fuck did I get black on my fucking ear? How in the fuck did so I get black ladies, on my ear? You go. Thanks. Okay. Love you. Be careful. Come home to me. Love you too. I'm up. I'm taking the dad's drill. You want to take the cell with you? Yeah, I need it. The corn shit. Oh, uh, I don't even know where the fuck it is. Oh, yeah, it's gotta be. Uh, how about check the charger? Hey, Dad, I'm about Thanks, to leave my house. I'll be up. Huh? Uh, I'm going to leave my house now. Come on. Okay? All right. I'll be there too. Right. So, I hope you enjoyed this look. Now, let's do the zoomed out part first. Okay. Yeah. Fucking teeth. <laughs>